Hello everyone, I'm Super Shan from Super Shan's Creations and today I'm going to be making this TARDIS lamp or you could not have the TARDIS on it and just leave it as a galaxy lamp. So here's what it looks like on, as you can see the paint stops the light from coming through. If you didn't like that just use less paint or if you like it then put more paint on. So yeah, I think the speckles look really cute and kind of add to the galaxy feel. So obviously you're going to your lampshade, you can use any lampshade, I think black's the best colour to get the galaxy look. Obviously you're going to need paints, I always use acrylic, I don't know if any other paints work because I haven't tried it. Use whatever you think is best. You're also going to need a few different paint brushes of different sizes and textures. As well as these you'll need a paint palette. For this project you can also use Mod Podge to varnish and Sharpie to draw on any thin lines, but these are optional. So obviously you start by painting the galaxy on the background. I like to start with the light colours and build the dark colours up. This is so the bright colours blend in more and don't stand out as much against the dark colours. To help me with this part I got pictures of galaxies up on Google and just picked my favourite colours and just messed around with it. It doesn't matter if it looks messy really because you can build on top and it still looks like it. After putting down the base colours, I just dipped my brush in paint and just dubbed it around and just kind of blended it in. I actually used my finger to help blend in the colours so it doesn't look as blotchy or mismatched. It just blended together and looked really pretty. So after putting on the light colours and then the dark colours, I put on some more light colours again to just like make it look more starry and bright. And I think this turned out pretty well to be honest. So after putting all the colours on and blending them with a wet brush on my finger, I just started dubbing on white bits of paint to like stars with a smaller brush. You can do little clusters or just spread them out really far. You can also drag your brush along to make it look like a shooting star. So as I was painting the TARDIS on mine, I decided to choose quite a vivid colour, I chose yellow. Um, to blend into the background to make it look like that's where the TARDIS came out of and it also makes the TARDIS stand out really well because it's quite dark against the dark background. So I just did the same as before, starting with the whites and the light colours and putting dark and then the light again and then I just blended it all in with my finger. So now you need to wait for that to dry because you can't put paint on top otherwise it will smudge and blend together. Some people are patient enough to wait, but I am not patient, so I used a hairdryer. I would also advise sketching your TARDIS on while it's still wet, and so it will create an indent in the paint. So I always start by painting the basic outline of the TARDIS, just so it gives me a shape to work around, rather than starting with something quite complex. If you do this too, you should have something like this. Then by getting a smaller brush and a darker blue, you can make the TARDIS 3D and I'll show you how that looks in just a second. And so it will start to look like a cuboid like this. From here on you just need to carry on painting the basic outline. I always get a picture up at the side of my laptop to use as a reference, which is always the best way because then you know that you're not going to go wrong. After you've finished painting the base, and wait for it to dry or blow dry it. You can go on to the smaller details. For this, I'd use a really small, if not quite small, brush because otherwise it just gets really messy. You can also use a sharpie to do the black lines. I do suggest anyone who has long hair to put their hair up for this because I got a lot of white paint at the end of my hair. Keep blow drying your piece all the way through and then you won't get any smudges or blends and it'll all go on top of each other quite easily. This is the optional varnishing part, all you need is a clean brush and mud podge and just go over the top. Make sure the whole thing is completely dry first. I wouldn't suggest covering the whole thing in varnish, just blobs in places, just spread it out a bit just so you get the kind of shiny look. You can put on a couple of layers if you like, but I only did one. So this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and please watch my other videos and maybe subscribe to my channel and check out my Facebook page, I love you so much guys, thank you!